I'm not gonna lie, the show is just asking for it at this point. I need a meme of Leif Erikson just wandering into different historical events. Like this whole thing of him just showing up at different villages. I get he's looking for Thorfinn, but how often can this continue? He's gonna find him eventually. But welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and we're back with Vinland Saga today. We have reunion. What that reunion is, I don't know. But the last one ended with a very somber note. Well, I, I don't know if somber is the word, but Askeladd is just a very interesting character to me and probably the most shockingly breakout character of the entire series i mean from episode three i thought he was set up to be like sort of the main villain but that's kind of turned into both floki and the king gonna hop into this if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started oh narrator sama <laughs> <laughs> Leif Erikson! He's back! Mm -hmm. He's still thinking about it. I mean, that's why he's looking for Thorfinn, right? Despite uh, not finding him all these years, he still has hope. What about, like, Helga and Ilva, too? I feel like we need to see what's going on with them. Oh, nobleman. Like a privatized crew? Oh, oh there's Knut and uh, Asquad. Yeah, York looks sick. Ah, we got to get set up. Yeah, you need like river access, ocean access, everything. Huh? That's there. Oh my gosh. I didn't even put two and two together. He's in York. Oh, shoot. He doesn't see Norman. He sees Askeladd. <laughs> King is going to strike at the banquet. Oh, shoot. It's all going down. <laughs> yeah. Reward, but in order. I mean, we're not going to take that, though. So then you either have to accept or just full on rebel. Orkel is like their weapon. I thought you had the plan, Kadu. Nah, Asquad's the planner. Oh, wait. That'd be, wait. That'd be tough, no? Oh no. Oh no, an assassin! Oh! 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 What? What? This was Askeladd's plan. He hired him. He has to make it look like. No way. Right? How did none of you see that? Wait, but then Thorfinn plays savior? This is how to really convince the people that Canute is in danger. And now, oh my gosh, Leif Erikson. Oh my gosh. Wait, Leif Erikson's gonna try to kill a freaking Askeladd. Oh my gosh, this is the reunion. This is it. This is it. He won't recognize him. There's oh, he sees the blade though. He's a different man now. Oh my gosh, dude. Everything's coming together. Yeah, he doesn't recognize him. Uh, did Asgard hire him basically as a sacrificial pawn? He said what an easy job, but it was easy because he was he was supposed to die from Thorfinn. The you're a villain! Oh, his arm's still so messed up. I want him and oh, I want him and Leif Erikson to talk. <gasps> what was his last name? Carl Sefni? He's known now? He has no idea. There it is. Oh, oh, I forgot he had a full head of hair. That's why they recognized him right away. Oh! <laughs> Dang, what will this do to Thorfinn? Like, how much will it take him back to, like, his young, innocent, like, youth? Oh! That's to the heart! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They just had to portray it to the people. Oh, it is a woman. Oh, I didn't even notice. I, I legit was just like, oh, that's Canute. Dang! Sacrifice this poor woman? He's like, it's for the greater cause. God, I hate Floki so much. His face just pisses me off. That was genius plan. It's, the chess game continues. He told me to lay barracks and like everything. I feel like he'll have something to say to Thorfinn that will maybe alter his path a little bit. Since he's the one that, that's known him this whole time. Has Leif even been back? That's what I'm saying, bro. What about Helga and Ilva? <gasps> no. Oh, I thought he was going to say she's dead. Why does he only care about Vinland, not his family? I guess because his father's gone and can never see it again. Home together. 
too late. Ascalot's still alive. As buddy buddy as they've gotten, that's his entire purpose still. God, that voice acting. Oh my goodness. Just a pure incarnate rage. Bro, for real! He's like, he almost feels like he owes it to Thor's. Probably. God, that's heartbreaking, man. <sighs> Bjorn. He said Bjorn's not gonna make it, though. <laughs> it's, this almost feels like a goodbye. Like, both of them know he's about to die. Tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, the king is admitting that? And they're all, oh, shoot. He knows the people's perception is so important that Canute is the victim. Who's this? It's one of the king's men going to try to, to stop the rumors and stuff from spreading. And Asgard is like, counter it, I think. Mm, the spider in the web. Oh my, if he took Dorkel away from him, it would make it look like King Swain is, is isolating him to endanger him. He has so much reasoning for Thorkel's protection now. He took away that piece from him. Why bro sit like that? Wait, why is it showing an outside shot? No, he is a rat! He's a rat! Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Yep, there it is. Orphan just lurking. Now he can use him. Spread misinformation. Oh my gosh. You use what you have. You don't show your hand. Yeah, it almost helps that he's a rat. Oh, hey. <laughs> what happens tomorrow? It feels so tense. Like one single event can bring this whole thing down. Oh, today's the council. What? Are they fighting? Oh my gosh. When was the last time they fought? Oh my god, Thorka looks so excited. Dude, he just has his whole arm wrapped up. He's at a disadvantage. A previous engage. Oh, Bjorn. What's he doing? He wants. Wait, does he want Asgard to cut him down so he doesn't just die in a bed? <gasps> no. No. He wants to go to Valhalla. Dude. He hates everyone, including himself. That's the kind of the, the, the feeling I got from his goodbye last episode. It, like, shocked him. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, why would he say that? Now his only friend is gone. God damn, bro. God. And now they're gonna fight before everything else? God, dude, Vinland Saga is it. The fact that they're about to duel before everything involving the king and all of that, and now we've lost Bjorn, bro. Askeladd actually admitting to Bjorn as he died that he was his only friend hurt way more. Because whether or not he truly believes that, I didn't think I'd ever hear him admit it, and maybe he only did because Bjorn was about to pass on. He would never admit that to someone that he knew was going to keep on living. Almost as if he tries to protect himself by not opening up to a single person. So opening up to someone that's about to not be around anymore is safe to him. And that is so heartbreaking. He's so closed off. And I think, like I said last time, just does not see that path for him to open up to anyone available to him anymore. He's too far gone. But dude, we're in the final three next time. Things are going to start wrapping up. I know there is a season two, but I think it's all going down. And I feel like it's going to be nonstop because I feel like there's so many loose ends. There's so much that has to happen. And whether or not we get a conclusion with, with Asgard and Thorfinn, I don't think it can lead.
leave off on some kind of cliffhanger or leave off on them just like having a draw again. One has to win, one has to lose. And at this point, I don't know which side it's pointing towards. If Thorfinn is merely a, a, a point for Asglad to see a path for himself if he defeats him in a duel, and then he lives on for Thorfinn if he defeats him, or if anything happens to Thorfinn with everything that goes down with the king, I don't know. Like I said, it's so unpredictable. I could see it going both ways, and it just genuinely terrifies me because I feel like it's going to be just heartbreaking either way. There's such a, a finite number of things that could happen, but each one is just so devastating. That's been it for my reaction to Reunion. Just, oh my, my goodness, dude. I will see you guys next time. Peace, peace.